Hey guys, George here from Swan Gaming. Today we're going to be starting a new series on Game Dev Tycoon. You can buy this game off Steam, I'll leave a link down below in the description to get it. I think you can also buy it off their website, but this was a game made by uh, not a big company or anything. It recently got greenlit on Steam, which means enough people voted it that they wanted it to be an official game and things like that. It's, it's a really good game actually. Basically, as you say, I'll read this out for you if you can't see it. It says, in this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. So basically, we'll get right into it because I don't want to do any dawdling around. But um, we'll, we'll call the company name Swan Gaming, you know, I think that's fitting. I have played this game before on another account I am... Um, I believe, uh, like something like 20 odd years in, uh, will be male, uh, should be a ginge, no, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt my eyes to look at, no offence, um, no, he looks kind of cool, must be that guy, he looks, um, yes, okay, uh, unlock hints, since you, no, I'm not gonna do that, because that means I'll have help, hints are basically things that are gonna give you, um, help with previous projects and stuff and I, I don't want that because then that will kind of be cheating um, what happens with hints is once you get far enough into a game <clears throat> so you'll see in the top right corner I've got year one month one week one once I get far enough in it will actually um, tell me what is good and what isn't good about my previous games I've made so for instance if I made an action game and it says that AI is very important for this it will tell me to put AI up and vice versa and things like that so game one um, let's have a look at the topics. Ooh. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a simulator. Simulators always seem to do well at the start from my last game playthrough thing. So we'll go, uh, we'll go on PC. You know, that was all there was. <laughs> That's basically a PC as well, but. And, what should we call it? Um, I don't know what we could call it. We'll just call it. Oh, Flight Sim. I think that's actually a real game on uh, from Microsoft. Um, Alright, we'll go with 2D graphics. You can either have text-based or 2D. This is kind of going to be a tutorial as well, by the way. Even though the game tells you. but So, we're going to have 2D graphics. Because, obviously, we don't want it to be text-based. That's pretty terrible. And we'll get working on that. Of course, I'll just start it in my garage and things like that. So, um, story and quests. This is time allocation, so at the minute he'll spend an equal amount of time on everything, which I don't want him to do. I want him to spend more time in, on certain things. So we'll go with... Storing quest down. Um, gameplay up. And... Engine can stay about where it is. And we'll just get developing. You get your research points, which come in handy later. I'll tell you when. And things like that. To your mum. He's on a break, look. Scratching his head. Okay. Um, AI is important for this for some reason. Dialogues isn't. And level design might be. I'm, I'm hoping anyway. I, I can't remember. <clears throat> it was a few days ago when I last played this. And that was, um, as I said, my other thing. And I think things change all the time, so. World design shouldn't be too important. Sound, I'd imagine it is. And graphics could say the same. Let's just hope we make a good game. And not get like two ratings overall from everyone. Let's just iron out the bugs. Because if you release a game with bugs, I don't think you can get a perfect 10 score from anyone. Which is not what you want. Alright then. So as you see, all your stuff levels up, which means you can research better things. So eventually you can do like 3D graphics and stuff. The first reviews for a new release game, Flight Sim, came in. Oh, it's not very good. Six, that's not bad for a first game. Sixes and sevens would be what I'd like. That's that's more like it. Star Games, Informed Gamer. Yeah, see, yeah, I thought AI would be important. And these bastards, obviously. Oh no, that's fine. So that's not bad for my first game. That will hopefully get me some sales and maybe some fans. There we go. Um, we can't do research or anything quite yet, I don't think. Uh, oh, yeah, we can. We'll generate a game report because that tells you what is good and what is bad about your game. <clears throat> Ooh, made it into the charts at the minute. 
27 funds. That's not bad. So we're actually doing quite well. If it makes profit, which it looks like it is, that's good. We, yeah, that's what we want. That was kind of the best possible outcome. War design seems to be not right. Okay, I kind of did the best that I kind of, yeah, I could. I kept saying kind of then. Oh, wow. Sweet. So this actually did a lot better than my first game on my other account. Ugh. Right. So we generated a game report. Uh, let's do some research. Um, actually, no, we'll make another game because I want to make a custom game engine eventually because that means you can put better graphics and things like that in. Which, of course, you want to be doing. So uh, let's develop a new game. I've got some good topics here. Last time I had terrible things. Hospital was like the only good one I had, so I made like a hospital simulator, which is always good. Let's go with aliens. Um, an alien action on PC. I'm actually going to risk going on the G64 purely because it's 20k. You'll notice, by the way, when we get later in the game, <coughs> excuse me, that um, certain things aren't obviously the right thing. So, for instance, it, you won't get the Xbox or the PlayStation. It's the play system and the Mbox because obviously copyright and things like that. So we're on the G64. And we'll call it... Uh, this is the hard part, like naming your game. Let's call it... Let's just call it Predator. It just sounds like Alien vs Predator, but... <laughs> screw it. Um, 2D graphics. 2D graphics! I went Welsh then. Um, right. I, I don't know with this. I want to say gameplay isn't going to be important. Engine's going to be important. And story and quests, not so much. I'm just hoping. I, I have no clue with these. I mostly make simulators because I know they go well. <laughs> so we'll see. Just got to hope. Um, AI down. I got a feeling level design's going to be up. AI's going to be near the bottom. Dialogue's going to be like there. Yeah. I'm thinking something like that. I'm hoping anyway. I, as I said, I have no clue. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll explain some more about this game while I'm going through all of this, actually, because I realise I haven't really made it very quick. Time passes very quickly. And, all right, hang on, let's think about this. Um, certain games have certain audiences and things like that that you'll see later in the game as everything develops. But right now, because there's only PC and G64, there's not really too much you can do with graphics and you know big games or anything and you can make bigger games later on in the game um, world design can be up sound can be low I'm just gonna go with the complete opposites and I, I've got a feeling I'm gonna pay for it but that did really well so I've made a new game and I'm still in the green from where I started on 60k <clears throat> uh, wait for it to iron out the bugs um, you, that little bar there that you can see going down that's every sort of like there's four of those in a week, if that makes sense. Alright. So let's um, see what how, how we've done. So we've got a new record for that, which is good. Bonus, new topic, new combo. Um, release, I, I don't know why you'd ever trash the game, to be honest. I think that even if the game doesn't do well, you spent that much money on it, you might as well try to get something back. Alright, okay, so that's good. This doesn't last very long, because I know my gaming history, because this is set in the 80s, it starts. Um... Oh, it did terrible. Oh, it sucked. It. I, I should have known. I should have known. It's. Mm, it's a great combination, but I've clearly messed up on some things. So we'll generate a game report and see where I went wrong, and then we'll try get some more research points from doing some contract work soon, because I think we'll be able to find some contract work. Uh, finding contract work is a good way to make money at first, but it's also a good way to generate research points. And you need research points because dialogue seems to be not important. Alien action is a great combination. So basically, you just tell me what I already know, I think. But research points um, are really important because obviously you need it to do things like this and new top. You need it for everything, basically. Oh, mystery. I'm not actually going to do that right now, but but you do need it for everything. So it is really important, and hopefully. This will all go well, but I, I really have no clue what I mean. I'm just hoping <laughs> to God that it does. Uh, we'll develop one more game before we sort of reach the end of this episode. We're on 149k. So we'll go with a different topic again. We're a ninja. A ninja... 
RPG. We'll go on the G64 and we'll call it. Call it Bleeding Sun. That sounds like freaking evil, but. <laughs> Um, 2D V1. Ninvento, look, that's Nintendo, obviously, but with Dinky King, Donkey Kong. Because obviously, you know, this game isn't uh, developed by a huge company, so as you can imagine. Um, oh, actually, wait, Story and Quest. I would imagine Story and Quest will be up on that sort of thing because it's an RPG. But I, I don't know, this game doesn't necessarily agree with me, like, in a game like that, I would certainly look for something, like, story. Like, in games like GTA and things like that, the story does really matter to me, which means the dialogues matter a lot. The level design isn't so important, and neither is the AI, really, but we'll see. We shall see. <clears throat> Excuse me, i got, like, a freaking cough today, it's messing me up. So, 84,000, I don't even know if that put me back in the green or not, I, like, for doing well. Uh, graphics through the roof, sound will have quite a high, oh no, world design, yeah, we'll have sound like world design medium, because I'm good for what I would look for, which isn't necessarily the right thing, because my opinion seems to be invalid a lot of the time for a lot of things, so we'll see, but anyway, we'll release this game, see how it goes, see how the reviews come in, and then we'll finish the first episode off. Alright then, let's finish it. So, I mean, look at this, uh, TES. I would say it brings back memories, but I don't think I was born. <laughs> but I, I know about a lot of it. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got the research point, so we'll quickly research a custom game engine, and we'll make a game engine in the next episode. Alright then, so I'm pretty sure this did terrible. Yeah, it's, it, it sucked. Um, I spoiled you all with the first game quite clearly. I'm going to make another simulator because we're almost in year two, so... Okay, that's good. That you know, that saved me. But we'll find out what went wrong, and then we'll get into it. But I don't think that game's gonna make me profit. Oh, actually, it will. Just about. There we go. Contract work. Now I can do. So we'll see what the game report tells me, and then we'll end the episode there, and then we'll get further on into it. We've got another 33 years to go yet, so. <laughs> There's a long way, and this hopefully will be a very successful series. You have successfully researched custom game engine. Beautiful. Right then. So, uh, we'll generate a game report just before the end. And while I'm doing this, I'll do the outro. This has been the end of the first episode. Obviously, like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next video. We'll see what comes up here. And Ninja RPG is okay. Story quest seems to be very important. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.